Good evening, I'm Joe Wren. This year is the bicentennial celebration of the birth of our 16th president. Many people are coming together to commemorate Abraham Lincoln's most formative years here in Indiana. WTIU Shamika Neely has the story. Children at one Indiana school learned about Abraham Lincoln as both the lawyer and leader. Fourth graders prepared log cabins made from pretzel sticks and chocolate icing. The students also fashioned campaign posters and stamps, as well as writing letters to Lincoln. Right now we're getting ready to celebrate Abraham Lincoln's 200th birthday. We um, have made pennies this morning. They designed the back of a penny because four new pennies are going to be issued this year in honor of Lincoln. Teacher Kathy Hicks says she tries to make activities engaging as students learn about Lincoln's childhood. I hope they're excited. I love history and I try to get the kids to do that and we do a lot with Lincoln every year because he fits right into our study of Indiana since he grew up here and we do our pioneer study at the same time. Kathy Hicks argues it was Indiana where Lincoln began to learn the skills which carried him to the Oval Office and she says parents are still teaching them today. One of the quotes he used was, there I grew up. He learned his values here in the state of Indiana, and, and I, I like to think that they're the values that a lot of people in Indiana carry with them through their daily lives. Indiana University is forming a 12-member committee to identify ways to cut health care costs on all IU campuses. This fiscal year, IU, IU will spend about $146 million on health care benefits for 17000 300 full-time employees and their families. President Michael McRobbie says costs could rise to more than $200 million, about 10 percent of IU's budget in just four years, if nothing is done. The first tornado of the year touched down in Indiana yesterday. The National Weather Service survey team took these pictures of barn and home damage in Delaware County, about five miles east of Muncie, after confirming an EF1 tornado with wind speeds up to 100 miles per hour touched down Wednesday around 3.40 p.m. The tornado was about 100 feet wide and was on the ground for about two-tenths of a mile. And your weather forecast for tonight, mostly clear, lows down to 30, 32. Tomorrow, partly cloudy. Daytime highs reaching 49 degrees. Tomorrow night, cloudy with a 50% chance of rain and even some snow after midnight with lows in the mid-30s. And then in your five-day forecast, cloudy on Saturday, a 60% chance of rain showers, highs in the lower 40s.